Right, took a little bit, had to get out and push. Anyway, Udi who indeed been here to get season 15, the playoffs, the last game of round one is today. God help everyone. Good luck. Okay, Ed is once again in the house there. Ed has been just a monster this first round here. Everyone, and I, I've already heard the discussions. People are praying, absolutely praying Ed takes a vacation the next round. Because so far, well, let's be honest. Ed has decided a few more games than we all want to admit to. Including now uh, one of the last games. Four out of five on a one in six. Four out of fucking five. That's just staggering, isn't it? Like, that, that's mind-numbing how bang on he's been. And does that change the rhythm of the game? I, I, I wouldn't disagree. It totally changes, it changes the rhythm of the game right there. Speaking of rhythm, here we are. Yes, the man with the cloak versus the man with, well, a plan. He says it's a plan. And methamphetamines from his elves supplied to the dwarves. Dwarves have reserves. Skaven mysteriously have reserves. Because of... Oh, really? It needs to be about 20% cooler. Yeah, I hate to say it. The right might have actually helped. No, I'm serious. The right would have helped. But the dwarves don't want none of that fuckery. So, yep, they negate the riot. Unfortunate, isn't it, there? All right, here we go. Solid pounding. Takes them down. And immediately we've already got our first stun. All right. Is this going to be a high? I don't know if this is going to be a high casual or not here. Skaven, once again, now the same problem he had in his last game. He's against a team that is designed to punish brutally. So all he has to do is A, survive, B, score. I did say survive! This is my boomstick! Well, what's he supposed to do about that one there? What, what is he really honestly supposed to do? It's a loner. No one cares, and he's not cool apothecary either. He's only got one apothecary. Now he has gone with two stars. I'm serious. Yep, Glot's the obvious one, but the other one, yeah, you got it. Good else, good at Spike. Yep. Mr. Strength 3, AG4, two heads, all the mutations you ever needed, including Prancel Tail, extra arms, even has dodge. The only thing he doesn't have is block. Yes, he's a blitzer, but he doesn't have block. Yeah, I've complained about that too. Oh, God. oh, here we go. Beatings again. Get over here! No surprise, Glot is the first blitz. And he immediately achieves fuck all. Glot's been really disappointing this season. I, I, I... Glot fits an interesting problem that the rats have. He becomes a surgical piece to take out anything that's a big high AV, especially nines. That's his purpose. Make AV9 a AV7. And how well has that worked out all season? Yeah, pretty much. He's, he's done sweet bop kiss all fucking season. He really has. And yeah, the fans have not been happy about this all season because that's been quite the disappointment. Speaking of disappointment here, more beatings by the dwarves. Dwarves. The dwarves have an interesting problem. I will stress it is a bizarrely interesting problem here. He, he, he's on the first drive. He's gotten a casualty early. That's fine. But the reality is he'd like to have another casualty. Honestly, he would. Because he wants to force the reserves in and force the Skaven into that uncomfortable position. Now not the back of a Volkswagen. But that uncomfortable position where he's down players. The Dwarves really don't give a shit. They've got a spare. And look at the skills on the field. Like, the spare is that it. He's a rookie spare. He's only 112 years old. He's a, he's a rookie. Look it up. Anyway. The dwarves absolutely casually moving. Get in my belly! Lando, of course, already down a player here now has, well, problems. How does he slow this down? Like, yes, he can slow it down, but remember, one of the biggest problems he's got is, quite frankly, well, 
He's got three gutter runners, has to keep him alive all game. He's not really got a choice here. But his other problem is this arsehole. No, seriously, this is the this arsehole's a problem. He's done fuck all. Glot, with a claw, hasn't done anything. And you can see, once again, another turn where, in theory, he should be the Blitz, but he would have required a GFI. And we've all seen how well that's working. Stand firm, Alpha, fuck's sakes. Shame. Yep. Shame. That's why he put him right there. Shame. And fun fact, now for Lando, that is now the second time in a row when his big blitz, he rolls double push. A three and a four and a three and a four. He's yet to find any fives or sixes on his dice array. No, I'm serious. That is what that works out to. I thought I had bad fucking luck. Everyone right now, let's be honest here, is waiting for that patient magic. Boomstick! Seriously, we're waiting for the magic to happen. One way or the other way here. Look, this is Lando. Lando, you expect that kind of magic. Dwarves, as seen here, it's a strength for Blodger. How do you take the ball off him? Unless you're willing to do the risky two dice uphill and go for the wrestle. That, that's the play. Problem is, quite frankly, can Lando actually do it? And the answer is no. Why risk it for the biscuit? About time? We'll last longer than we will against that Death Star. A stun. Incredibly disappointing. A stun. It does absolutely... Oh, God. How about this one? That thing's operational. Yeah, he is. And guess what? Money blow to all the stun. Yep, that's definitely a piling on. We've got to give him more time. And the crowd goes wild on that one there. He gets an injury and immediately pulls the power up off. I'm not joking. It immediately pulls the power up off right there on turn number three. Because that was only a badly hurt. So, yeah, power up off it there because, well, of all the skills that player brings to the game, it's the playoffs. I don't disagree with it. it it's a critical piece. You can't afford losing them this early in the game. Have you looked at the skills the arsehole's got? He's a four-skill player. Yeah, you apothecary him. You bring him back in. Oh, God. The dwarves really returned favor with a... Wow. <laughs> yep, you saw it. You all saw it. Witness, you all fucking saw it. Yep, congratulations. Quad skull. The dwarves just rolled a quad skull. Finally. Finally, they are, no, 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 he's got Dauntless though, and he got him, tackle, he got him, he fucking got him, woohoo, <laughs> Lando, he's done it again, Lando, he's done it again, there's the pile on to try and make sure, did he get him, thick skull, well, it was worth the try, it was worth the try, <laughs> would you get going, you pirate, all right, now, see where the ball ended up, yeah, I know, that sucks too. It, it, of all the bounces, that... It's workable, but kind of not workable. Does that make sense? I'm pausing it up here because, well... What are Orlando's options? The player needs to get the ball is this arsehole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, go... Oh, God, it's all those squares. Just to even get the fucking ball. He's got the skill for it, but... He's unfortunately in the wrong spot. And again, the bounce just didn't go where he really wanted it to. So, is what it is. You could risk it. No, 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 no. Oh, well. This is his way of risking it here. He's marking the ball. All right. It, he did get rid of one troll slayer. So, I do grant there is some logic to it. You. Yes, you. You are the player who really should have gone an extra quick. Look. Look, in moment, Paul for four. Look at the skills he's got. Dodge, two heads, AG4. You can do the one more square. And it's only a two with a two reroll because he doesn't have fucking tackle. Put both on the ball. Y you can comment if I'm wrong, but that is my view at this juncture. Since you've accepted you're not getting the ball, you need to put the star on the ball. That's what the star is for. Oh, God. All right, old buddy. Yep. The gerbils are back, son. The gerbils are back. 
And now the player who needs to risk it is in absolutely 100% the wrong square. Oh dear. Of course, then you realize with the GFI wit, that would have, well, been on the dodge roll. Anything's possible at this point. My, he is tenacious, isn't he? But you see what my argument is. He needed to be there. And now the problems have begun. Fantastic! No, I'm serious. Now his problems have truly begun here. Because, yep, Lando has got one player not in the right square. Oh, dear. I'll take care of it. This is like that chorf turn. Yeah, there we go. Suddenly, yep, very suddenly, the pain is because... See, you couldn't be there. You really couldn't be there because you were going to let... Look, if you were going to fall, fall on the ball. Th that's not a joke. Fall on the ball. Because there's good odds the ball's going to go somewhere more useful for the Skaven unless somebody rolls a six. Uh, where's it going? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Worst place ever. You'd like to run your hands through my beard, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. All right, so the dwarves, let's be honest here, got lucky on that little play. Why? The ball is here. Worst place because the Skaven can't get to it. Lando's missed an opportunity. Power it, Dauntless. Power a block. That's not doing any good for him. It really isn't. This deal is getting worse all the time. All right, the big powerful hit. He needs this to do something. It's a stun. He'll take it. He'd rather have a KO. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Fuck off. Where's the ball going this time? Right, and he's already moved the player. He needs to pick it up. He's already moved him. Right. Why, you slimy, double-crossing, no-good swindler. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. Fails the dodge with two heads. Rolls a one. All right. No, no, no. You need to be near the ball. Does he got it? He's got it. He's got it. Come on, hand, old buddy. Don't let me down. The problem is it's the wrong player. He'd moved the other player with the two hands already. So... This is awkward. This is incredibly awkward. And the beatings will continue until the morale fucking improves. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's what hell of a run path. Yep, he's down and he's KO'd already. Charge! Like I said, totally the wrong player to be picking up the ball. Should not even have been standing there. But let's be honest here. The Dwarves did get lucky with a couple of bounces here. If the bounces had been anyone out here, it's a very different game. But then again, Lando just had two players in the wrong spot, and it's come back to haunt him. It's really coming back to fucking haunt him now, yeah? Beatings. Yeah, beatings indeed. And now Glart's stunned. This should be an easy pickup. He's got it. Let's get to it then. Oh, God. You know? No? Why is a dwarf dodging? Oh, for love of Pete. Who are you? Uh, not doing too well. All right. Unfortunately, it's strike four blodge again. So now he's going to get the work on it here. Yeah, lucky bounces after quad skull. Yeah, we did point that out. Don't worry, we did point out the quad skulls. We did put, we did note that. All right. What the hell is Lando doing? Lando, let get the ball. Get the fucking ball. All right, you, you've got God. You've got to be standing fucking there. Oh my. Who keeps laying the gerbils Shame. out? Fuck Shame. Hell. Shame. Double one. Sloppy. This deal is getting worse all the time. How do you stop that? All right, he's done it. He, he's absolutely 100% returned the favor for the quad skulls there. Critical oh, play. Double one. Death. What the hell do you do? He's, he had the right idea. This time he had all the players generally in the right spot. Double one, of course. Beatings! Th this is a deadly player. Jump up, diving tackle, and a line dwarf. He he's so brilliant, I hate him. He, he really is a deadly player against Skaven. He's preventing a lot of plays. Uh-oh. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem, all right. He can't afford to lose that player. Well, he's lost him. No, I'm serious. Okay. Does he still have an apothecary? Did he already burn it? No, he has it. Dear Lando, you fucking need that. Why are you not apothecarying it? No, I'm serious. It's only a badly hurt. It's the playoffs. You need to apothecary that player. No? Okay. 
He's going to need them to go to Runner, especially. He needs that player, especially with big hands. It's a whole combination. You need that player. Get an Apothecary. It's turn seven. It's not like it's a power play. It's just the correct one. <coughs> <coughs> That's it. Beer. I've had enough of this. All right. It is in a miracle. I need healing. More ones, eh? More fucking ones? This deal is getting worse all the time. Feels like more fucking ones. I don't think that was all ones, was it? Oh my god, it was. Anyway, yeah, more ones. Lando's rolling an awful lot of them. There's a lot of ones on this array. Easy push, the dwarves. Well, they have re rolls so now it depends. Does he want a greed block or just score? Eh, column A, column B. The dwarves hate to admit it is more comfortable if, let's be honest here, They've gotten rid of a few players. Oh, God, yeah, now I see why. Glot, bye-bye! Do it! Just do it! Sloppy. Yeah, well, the dwarves got him, all right. Oh, how are you? Yeah, he's fine. He's just fine. It's Glot. More beings continue. What do you need? Another stun. Basically, right now, for the dwarves, you'd be going mediocre. It really is. Beat. I shot the sheriff and the deputy and your wee doggy. Let's be honest here. If you're the dwarves and you're doing this kind of hits, and you're just not getting anything out of it, it's a bit frustrating. But Scrambles gets the ball and even gets the score. Well done. Yeah, well done. He does get the score out of that one. Oh, Lord Lover Duck. Lord Lover Dwarf. All right. So Lando chose not to apothecary. The gutter runner has got all these crazy skills, including sidestep, which he kind of needs right now. Especially if he wants to do a one-turn miracle. Like, yes, he's got the one-turn wonder. He does have that one-turn wonder. But it would have been kind of nice if he had the other gutter runner for other options. I don't think I'm wrong, lads. I don't think I'm wrong. I think right now that has been one of Lando's, well, let's be honest here, two mistakes he's made. The other times, though, let's be honest, bad dice. Don't worry, Scooter would agree. He had, a, he had a nice bad set of dice right there, too, at one point. But it's mediated, except for the problem is the Skaven, being an AV-17, really can't afford that many bad dice. Dwarves, maybe. Not Skaven. Anyway, see who's still out here. Yep, Star's still out. He needs him, but he's staying out right now. This is a bit of a problem. If he stays out another turn... I officially would say Lando's in fucking trouble. He's got booze too. That's the worst part. Ah, uh, so what we got here? Cadet Math would say that, yep, Lando's actually down a player. Dwarves, you're benching him. What you think? Well, is that a contractual obligation or something? He's off for his contractual fluffing? Something like that, maybe? Da -da 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 about to drop the hammer and dispense some indiscriminate justice. Well, I don't know what the rats were thinking. Clearly, he ran out of time setting up. He's forgot to put someone back here. I don't know. La Lando, that strikes me as someone losing track of the timer and forgetting to put a receiver back there. A receiver you would have had if you'd apothecary. I'm going to keep ringing on that. I'm going to keep hopping on that. All right, here we go. Creative little blitz here. Yeah, let's go for the chain push. Uh, it, it, it's a down, you take it. Free square. All right, you took it. No problem. You're doing another green block because you need Glot to do something. And Glot's still not doing anything there. This deal is getting worse all the time. All right, here we go. Easy peasy. There's the throw. It's a long bomb. Oh, wow. Inaccurate. He catches it. 
And then he immediately files the dodge. <sighs> Sigh. Why you slimy double crossing no good swindler? And he immediately files the dodge. Did he have leap on this guy? I like to think he did. No, not actually. Uh, no, not actually. All right, fine, fair enough. All right, well, there we are in halftime. It's one to nil for the dwarves. They're gonna hang on for dear fucking life. This halftime, of course, being brought to you here by lazy cunts. Will come around your house, they'll, they'll just do fuck all. Great rights, though. Lazy cunts. I'm good. I'm, I'm sorry, Lando. I'm gonna keep harping on that. I, I am gonna harp on that all day. You failed to put Apothecary a critical play. Yeah, big hand, sidestep, fend, and block, and he's obliging. What are you. Okay. It's just, okay. Riddle me this. What are you saving the Apothecary for? What are you saving it for? This is the playoffs. There is no Today's tomorrow. Gonna suck. Probably. Feels like it's going to suck at this point. So, him not apothecary that player, let's be honest, it puts Lando at a disadvantage for the rest of the game. Unless he finally starts eliminating some dwarves. And that ain't fucking happening because this arsehole, no, I'm pointing at you, Glot, is done two things. Okay. Two things it is the legend. Oh, don't you start Paxton. So a certain person in a cape wants to visit you in a back alley and have many, many words with you right now. Two double ones is not funny, lad. Not funny. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Lando's been quite, quite, quite yeah, like, yeah, bake a cake. Trust me. And the second time, we're not allowed to have a riot. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. Well, the star's got the ball, and he's got one job. Run, bitch, run. Now he's already failed a basic dodge. This is the man with dodge, two heads, AG4. The only way he could ever fail a dodge is a one, so of course he rolls a fucking one. What else would he fucking roll? All right, Glot, would you like to do your fucking job? No, of course not. <sighs> Overtime. This deal is getting worse all the time. Glock continues to be totally fucking useless. Yeah, well, the right, the first half, the dwarves don't score. Yeah, that's the crazy part. Now we've had a second riot. We've had two riot. We, we, we've had two riots now. Absolutely crazy. It totally is crazy here. Skaven. Oh, God. You see what he's doing? He's playing for overtime. This seriously is playing for the overtime. Are you sure about that? I'm the administrator of this facility. All right, fine. If, if Landu tells me he knows what he's doing, fine. We, we have to believe in the cape. The problem is he's already made two screw-ups, so... He's a bit rattled, isn't he? Yeah, Skaven are playing for the... Stall. I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. Yep. GFI, and it's failed. Why wouldn't it be? There's been a lot of failed GFIs this game. I think now, what, what are we on now? Five attempts, four fails. Or what are we now? No, actually, it's six attempts, four fails. For a one in six. Four out of six have failed. Again, it is the legend. It's brutal. Meanwhile, the dwarves, well... Again, they have no reason to put any pressure on the ball. None. Why would they? They're winning right now. Skaven now have to counterattack, stop pressing forward. Someday. We've got to give him more time. And once again, Glot wades in. Finally hits something. Yay. Those two thirds of four fifths have fuck all. This deal is getting worse all the time. It absolutely is, Lando. It absolutely is. Dear Lan Alf. No, not actually. Rolls a one. Rolls a one. Of course he rolls a one. What else would he fucking roll? Yep, rolls yet another one. He's just running out of re-rolls here. Would be nice if he had another gutter on the field. Oh shit, not good. Anything but a fucking one, and what does he roll? This deal is getting worse all the time. 
This is, this is getting exasperating if you're Lando. The number of ones on his array is mind-numbing, and he keeps popping once. This is my... Remember, this is an AG4 basic team. You know, anything but a one. It's the Anarian array all over again. And is it... Is it it's basically helping beat Lando. It's, it's like... How, we, how would we say in soccer? The dwarves clearly have a 12th player, and it's the dice array right now. Alright, there's a good solid beat right there. Oh, there's me drink. It's a stun, you'll take it. Dwarves, yep, yeah, absolutely the right play. Diving tackle moves in. Rowell's blocked, because remember, he's a blitzer without fucking block. Hey ho, hey ho. What a stupid, stupid yeah, verse. Second verse, same as the first. I'm not joking! He's supposed to be, in theory, he's supposed to be a fucking blitzer, but go figure. That's the theory of him. He's supposed to have block. Doesn't. Well, there you go. Greed is bad. Great, great, greed is bad. All right. No. Yeah, all right. The only miracle so far. That So far, the only miracle. Now, can he get out of this? He, look, let's be honest here. Lando's got a score. This isn't negotiable. He's got a fucking score now, because he's not recovering this ball otherwise. Gee, wouldn't it be nice if he had a player with big hands, AG4, to easily pick up the ball? Yeah, funny that. I wonder if he's got one of those. I'm being mean, aren't I? Yeah. Well, I'm being mean for a reason. I'm being very mean for a reason. You may fire when ready. And now he has to run all the way back. With the good runner who should have scored right now to go get the fucking ball. All right, old buddy. <laughs> Sigh, you know? But you, you see my point about that apothecary he didn't do? You see my point? Ding dong! And now we're gonna start running out of rats again. I don't have a drinking problem. Trust me, he doesn't have a drinking problem. He drinks, gets strong falls down, no problem. Right now, the dwarves, well, casual beatings. It is turn 11. And yep, they've got their eyes on the target on a player with Wrestle. Does it need the Wrestle, though? He's got him. My pleasure. Yep, ball is free. Look at that, it's 9 9 99 99 And the dwarves mark the ball, make the TFI. There's a novelty. And moving on, big block. We take that and yet another KO. Woohoo! Till we meet again. <laughs> Maybe not this game. All right, and the dwarves get a running back. Go get the ball. Yeah, wrestle didn't matter. Wrestle did not matter. It's like I had jugs anyway. Uh, I think that's a pex problem, but that's beside the point. All right, let's see what this game even can do. Once again, a perfect situation for a certain gutter runner. Which apparently he's not on the field for some reason. All right. Oh, that's right. He failed to apothecary it on turn two. I'm going to keep hopping on that. You know I'm right. Y you know this broadcast booth is 100% right on that. Here we go. A stun? And who might you be? He got a stun. All this effort. Glock gets a stun. The miracle dodge. The miracle pickup. And the miracle score. Lando is finally on the board. Miracles do fucking happen, don't they? Well, he's done what he has to do. Not gonna lie, he's done what he needs to do. However, I don't think that was really what he planned, is it? This deal is getting worse all the time. It doesn't surprise me, Lando. It doesn't surprise me. It's been a rough one. Let's be honest, this has been a rough one for Lando. A lot of ones. He finally didn't get a bunch of ones there. That was nice, okay. So, let's change this game up a bit, shall we? Let's have the most exciting event in Blood Bowl and the kickoff you can ever have. Well, in LIB6 anyway. And the dwarves, as you can see, can just tear in, because look at the owl. Really? Another double skull. 
Well, then again, that might be the only way the duels are really failing anything here. Casual pickup, no problem. Ah, at least you didn't do that first. Brilliant! If you'd done that first, you would have fumbled the ball, and I guarantee this guy even go for it. Because what else are they supposed to do? And there we go, he's gone. Boomstick! He's not coming back. Let's be honest here. Remember, he has, he has two KOs. Again, I remind you, Lando has booze. God, does he ever have alcohol? And yet, two KOs stay out. So that's kind of below average for him. So again, I do stress that Lando's really not having fun with some of these dice here. He gets a lot of ones in bad times. Of course, you know, Scooter could argue the same thing here. He's been having a couple of ones too. They're called double skulls here. But once again, we were, we were in the, in, remember in the review, we predicted this bastard's going to be nigh invincible. There's not many players who can stop Blood Strength 4. He's pretty fucking deadly, isn't he there? That thing's operational. He's been operational for ever since the season started, it feels like. Push me, fuck you. Not blitzing with Glot, are we? I, I, no, I'm serious, Lando. Not blitzing with Glot, are we? Because he only makes sense in certain blitzes. Very certain ones. Glot, I, I will still reserve that you need to be, well, using him for what he does. Uh, yes, I know. All he's gotten is a stun all fucking game. I grant that. But the problem is, he, he, he's all you've got at the moment. Brilliant. Well, he is. Yeah, he's been basically pushing. He's been hardly hitting at all. He's been basically fucking useless. And right now, it is 11 on 8 for the dwarves. And the dwarves have the fucking ball. And look who's got it here. Yep, strength, full blotch. Glot's got to start removing people. And I know that, that is, considering how useless he's been all game, it's an overstatement. It really is an overstatement. Oh, God. Easy target. That is a real easy target, and I can see why he's taking him down. Yep, take him down, here we go. Bye-bye. Guns don't kill people. I do! And he's not getting back in the game. Don't trust me, he is not getting back in this game. Yeah, well, he had a good season, but th th that's the game right there. The fact he didn't apothecary him. Guess who's still got his apothecary? I'm, I'm going to keep harping on it because I keep thinking that is the one apothecary he needed to do on turn seven. He didn't do it. Okay, it's the playoffs. You're all in, you're all out. And that just feels like you, like, I've got a list, but the problem is it's just, no, just no. <sighs> what have we here? What we have here is a problem. It's 11 on seven. Oh, Glot's going to finally try and hit. Keyword is hit. We've got to give him more time. And especially try. Try is the more important word on that. He tries. Tries and fails, unfortunately. Dwarfs. Turn 14. Literally no hurry. Only you just want to score on turn 16. That's really all they want to do. I drink. I get drunk. I fall down. No problem. Yeah, at, at this point, it's really no problem for the dwarves. And having all this guard just doubles the problem. <laughs> Push me, fuck you. I, I don't think you're worried about this. I really don't think you're worried about that. Glot has been so ineffective this game. He's not really a threat or a factor, really. He should have been, but he's not. All right, dwarves, floating screen. Yeah, it's definitely a floating screen, all right. All right, one more on the backside. Yep, it's because of all the guards. He can get away with this. It's disgusting, isn't it? But there we go. Time to go. Now here we go. Troll Slayer is taking no part in the game. Continues to take really no part in the game. He's got his own game he's playing. Trust me. Game of one. That's all he's doing. Oh, sorry. Hello, what have we here? You have a problem. That's what you've got, lad. You've got a problem. Well, you hit him. You've got a lot of guts coming here. After what you pulled. The problem is, it's like it's not going to achieve anything. And there is the one big fail you cannot afford. He's going to have to reroll it. What's what? What choice has he got? I'm sorry. I told you that player would make all the fucking difference, didn't I? I fucking told you. I absolutely told you that player would make all the fucking difference. 
And he has it. That one point made a lot of difference. Yeah, fuck you too from the fans. All right, the dwarves. Well, it's just now casually advancing. Fire! Yeah. They can take it cautiously. They're allowed to. Because, hey, this is Blood Bowl. And we know Lando, he's got the weird look of the gods. But just apparently not today. Okay, he's had a bit of luck. A lot of it bad. I, I will say there's definitely been a lot of bad. The dwarves? I don't see a foul in their play so far. The dwarves are just playing a meticulous game. Yes, I know it's a bit dreary, but... They're playing against a pretty damn good Skaven coach and a good Skaven team. They've had to be meticulous. Help me! Yeah, he doesn't need really any help. All right, this is it. This is it. It's all... It's... it's... This deal is getting worse all the time. It's the only play he's got. I'm sorry. It's the only play he had left. He's literally the only play he's got left. And he goes out. On turn 16, still holding his apothecary when he had a player he could have gotten back. Yeah, he went for the big cage dive. The only play he's got left. Should he have ever been in this situation? Mm, probably not. He never should have been in this situation. But, is what it is. Oh, there we go. Confirmed death, finally. <laughs> to learn us, no one cares. He's dead. He's dead. Dig all around him. No one fucking cares. There we go. The winning touchdown. Dwarves are taking it home! Dwarves are taking it home! Yes. <laughs> yeah, Dwarves are taking that one home there. Two to one, a pretty solid game. Again, I, I'm just going to stand by it there. Yeah, you know, Dwarves played a pretty solid game. Yes, the dice now and then didn't cooperate there, but generally they just played a meticulous, calm, precise game. Skaven. Skaven really had to try and pull something out of a hat here somewhere. And I, I will stand by. He'd already, before he had the double one out of nowhere, that really, well, let's face it, fucked him up here. He already had a misplay. He already had one misplay. And then... Unfortunately, later on, finds a way to try and recover it. Get Dwarves get not one, but two good fortunate bounces there. And then that's when the gerbils come in, and they double one, and end the Skaven run. And then the Skaven turns seven. That is absolutely an apothecary. Doesn't use it. And I seriously would state, you fucking needed that player. You really needed him. One extra player, maybe it was all the difference. Would it give you different options? It's a whole litany. Maybe Lando was just off his game, but let's be honest here, that's a lot of ones too. And that, that, that's pretty hard to come back from for any team, isn't it there? Even for Lando. All right, it's two to one. Dwarves will advance on to the final eight. Pretty crazy round we had, didn't we there? Well, we have two faves and two underdogs. Advance out of the first round. Second round, he's going to get prepared. Oh shit, not good. Yeah, exactly. It was not good indeed. Dice array there. It, it had its moments for the dwarves, let's be honest here. Quads, skull in the first half should have really changed the game immensely. It didn't. Like I said, Lando had a misplay at that point. If he'd done that a little differently, I think that works out differently. But it's hard to tell. Is it a big enough difference? I honestly would say it probably was. But it, that's Blood Bell for you. And then, of course, you know, in the end of the day, you saw all the ones, especially the critical ones, when he could get a guard in position, and double ones on the GFI. Or double ones the dodge. How do you stop? How do you prevent that? And the answer is, well, that's dice erase for you. Anyway, that is it. Looks like the next round is going to be already advanced. People, make your games. Let's see how soon these are done. Good luck, gentlemen. Nuffle. Bless some people's dice.